Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, it has happened once again. This quite literally happened 24 hours after I uploaded my video about the other ones. If you've been on the internet whatsoever over the past like two or three days, I'm pretty sure you know the whole situation with Chris Tyson, aka Ava Tyson. One of the OG boys from the Mr. Beast crew is a little bit of a weirdo. There's been many videos made about this topic at the moment, like literally everybody. So I just kind of wanted to weigh in because it seems kind of fitting with my last video. So for anyone who doesn't know the situation, I'll give you a very very, very quick rundown. Basically, there was this guy named Shadman who used to draw these very inappropriate pictures of minors. This subcategory of art has a name, but I can't say it because YouTube's weird. So we're gonna call them minis from now on. Basically what it is is underage characters with womanly features doing a variety of provocative things. That's weird. Don't do that. The drawings could be about anime characters, animated movie characters, or if you want to get real spicy with it, Keemstar's real-life nine-year-old daughter. You heard that correctly, my friends. This absolute diabolical man drew a real-life underage girl given what I can only describe as the sloppy toppy to the former US president. If I even need to explain how disgusting this is to you, seek help. And there's been many tweets of Chris going back and forth with this Mr. Shadman, and I'm not gonna go over all of them. They are just very strange. I'll have them up on screen here. It's just a very strange interaction to the point where he is even baw one of his artworks. And at first a lot of people thought it was a joke, but then in a Mr. Beast video, you can see it put up on the wall in the background. So he's not only bought it for the memes, he also displays it with pride, which, oh my god, man, like that is a hobby you need to keep to yourself, my friend. And of course, there is the allegations that are coming out about him talking to a 14 year old. Yeah, it, it gets worse. Like, be it these guys were friends and stuff like that, but like Chris has been saying some out of pocket statements to this fucking prepubescent man. My guy literally just discovered that his penis had a second function and you have Chris out here dropping some absolute bangers like coming for America. Ha ha ha. Very funny, Chris. Very funny indeed. Now, this kid has come out saying that he doesn't feel like he was groomed or anything like that, and of course you don't. Most kids that this happens to, especially if it's someone that they look up to, they don't really see anything wrong with it. Like, for example, something similar happened to me, not to this extent, but when I was about 13, 14, me and one of my other friends had a mutual friend, and he would have been about within the range of, like, 18 to 20. And this friendship started off very nice, actually. He was a very fun guy to talk to, I had a lot of fun on the game. So when I got to the stage that he was asking me what color my underwear was, I saw nothing wrong with it. Until it just kept building and building and then it just got weirder. Luckily enough for me, there was someone around me who could tell me this isn't right and then it clicked in my mind so I stopped talking to this person. So this is only just amplified in this man's mind. He's kind of like rose tinted glasses if you will. He's kind of unknowingly ignoring all of the weird shit because he looked up to Chris at this stage and considered him a friend allegedly sending pictures of just talking about sexual stuff in general with these kids and he was a fully developed adult she should have known that you shouldn't talk to minors this way it's just not right and literally as i started recording this video another video came out from a so-called third party that was a part of this whole situation and was friends with lava and they worked together on like mods or not mods fucking servers and stuff on discord for chris and he came out and said that, yeah, he does believe that Lava was a victim. He was almost a victim. It's a whole fucking situation, man. It really is. But he ended up getting fired from Mr. Beast, which is fantastic news because Mr. Beast is a fucking legend. But yeah, I hope that was a quick enough summary. There was a few more little bits here and there. But if you want to hear the rest of the story, you should go and watch uh, other people's videos. They have a lot more in-depth stuff. Uh, watch to Wait till the end, of course. Don't be hasty. Let me talk. God, I am sweating. Fuck me. Oh, my Irish body can't handle this shit. It's so hot outside. I'm just after finishing work, so that is exactly why my bed is in a state. The wildest part about this situation, man, it's so crazy to me. There are so many people coming out and defending this shit. You can't even defend the fucking minis situation. There is literally nothing to justify that. You see people trying to defend it in the funniest way as ever, man. They'll get like a random picture from Shadman's uh, Twitter of one of his drawings and be like, as a matter of fact, this is actually Princess Puff Sparkle. In the anime, she's actually a 100 million thousand year old demon, but she just has the shape of a little child, so it's okay. No, it's not. It's still the shape of a little child. Well, I wouldn't even say little child. It is the shape of a little child with big badonkadonks. That's not okay. Why are people defending this shit? You need to go to prison. And that's not even adding 
the other allegations and everything like that on top of it, there's probably more information coming out right now as I speak. Fun fact, I was right. Today I seen on Twitter a guy called Nathan W, who was the third party I was talking about earlier in the video, came out to prove all the statements that he made in his video by releasing the Discord chat. If you want to see all of them and read them in depth, go over to Nathan's Twitter, but I will warn you, it is a little disturbing the further you get in. And that's not even it, there are a lot more people coming out with allegations against them, but I do not know if these are true. I don't know if they have any legs to stand on, maybe they just saw these guys getting a lot of attention for releasing this information, and they're just coming in for a bit of an attention grab. I really hope not, because my faith in humanity is already at its lowest, and if none of that was enough to make you think that Ava Tyson is a terrible person, we have another curveball to throw at you. It has come to my attention that in one of his old videos that he made back in the day, Ava, who went as Chris at this time, was making a video talking about the whole Jeanette McCurdy situation, where her nudes got leaked and all of that jazz, and for some reason, this absolute bimbo thought it would be a great idea to leave a link to these nudes and videos and all of that stuff in the description of the fucking video. I don't know too much about the Jeanette McCurdy situation, but from what I've heard, it was revenge that was leaked, and Chris knew about this whole situation because he was making a whole fucking video on it, and he still put it in the comments, or the fucking this- Oh, I'm having a stroke, my guys. It's like the fucking Amazon out in here nowadays, man. If you blink, you're getting touched. It's so fucking disgusting, man. It really is. Like, I said it so many times in my other video. It's just fucking appalling. But thankfully, I don't think that Lava was ever made send pictures or anything like that in weird manners to Chris. I feel like it was only one-sided. However, the most annoying fact about this whole situation is there are people defending him. You don't want to know why they're defending him? Because he's a different person now. He has transitioned. He is now Ava. And therefore, no longer a kid lover. Women can also be like this. You do know that, right? Yes, it's primarily males because fuck me, we're strange. There are a lot of females out there also. They're just a lot more sneaky about the whole thing. So to try turn around and say that, oh, Chris is different. She's on hormones now. She's becoming a woman. Or she has become a woman. Is absolute fucking lunacy, man. I'm trying not to move around as much because I'm dripping from my armpits, but this is getting me riled up and my feet hurt. This is uncomfortable. To try use the trans card is fucking wild in this situation. There was one tweet that really fucking annoyed me. It sent me to the fucking gallows, my friends. It's during this whole situation, someone tweeted out saying something along the lines of, oh, the trans movement is going to be pushed back years. Thanks, Chris. Are you fucking dumb? Oh my fucking God. Not everything is about gender. Not everything is about sexuality. It's not fucking night and day here, my friends. You see a whole situation of Chris being an absolute degenerate and your first time is, oh no, the trans people, what are we going to do? <laughs> Get it together. Oh man. Oh dear God, man. The fucking audacity of that statement, man. Imagine I came out and said that. Fucking Dr. Disrespect after his whole allegations. Imagine I came out and was like, oh my God, Dr. Disrespect, you just pushed the straight movement back a decade. How could you? And not talk about the whole fucking, you know, kid touching situation. Like what the fuck? To turn around and try play the sexuality card in a situation like this is actually sickening. You need to get checked. Anyone who has this idea that like Chris is only transgender, like nothing else about this person has any other character whatsoever. It is only transgender. I said it, that sounded kind of mean. She is only transgender. And that is the only defining factor about this fucking person's life. You need to get checked and or get mental help. It has nothing to do with the fact that her Audi is now an innie. You all need Jesus or whatever fucking God. God. Any God will help you. I know I only pointed out this one tweet, but there is an overwhelming number of people that are saying that the trans movement is going to be pushed back years and that trans people are going to be vilified just because of the actions of this one person. But that's just not the case. Of course, there are going to be some weirdos out there that are using this as a reason to be transphobic to people and to be like, haha, we knew it all along. You're all a bunch of weirdos. But anyone out there that genuinely believes that the action of this one person like encapsulate the entire fucking community, as I said in the prior clip, you need God. This should go without saying, but you shouldn't be doing that. If you don't agree with the trans movement or transgenders or whatever, you do you. Just don't be going out there harassing
harassing people just because of their sexuality. Like, that, that's just not the way the world is now. It shouldn't be anyway. However, there is an overwhelming amount of people that are calling this whole situation transphobic and anyone that talks about it is automatically a transphobe. Obviously, I'm not talking about the entire trans community, but there are a select few people that really think this. And then you have mainstream, like, publishers, like the Rolling Stone, painting this entire situation in the wrong light, saying that Ava Tyson backed off the internet because of transphobic attacks. If calling somebody out for their weird behavior is transphobic, then I'm transphobe all the way. For any transgender people watching this video, any of my friends that are transgenders watching this video, you need to stop throwing that word around so much. If you keep throwing that word around that any little thing that you don't agree with that goes against your ideology, the word is going to lose its meaning and have no impact whatsoever, which it nearly already has because of the amount of people using it. It's just very annoying to see all this stuff and all this like growth we've had as the human race with equality and all of that stuff go down the drain as soon as somebody who's in a minority group gets into a bad situation, you know, because the mainstream media is painting this in this way, but with Dr. Disrespect with less proof and less like actual solid evidence against that case, made them instantly label him as a child predator. As a straight man myself, a lot of people say I don't have the right to talk on this sort of thing for some reason, but I genuinely think that this is just a step back instead of going forward. Treat every single person, no matter their gender, their identity, their sexuality, whatever the fuck you want to say, you treat them the exact same. That is equality. You don't do this sort of thing where if a trans person gets into a fucking bit of drama, you paint it in a completely different light. It's just very upsetting and demeaning for me to see that, you know? But yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. It's a real fucked up situation, honestly. I was smiling and laughing and making a lot of jokes in this video, but that's just what I do when I'm uncomfortable talking about something. So don't take that in the wrong way. I'm not trying to, you know, take the piss out of the whole situation or anything. But with that all said, ladies and gents, be nice to each other. Don't be fucking dicks. And I'll see you in the next video. So with that said, it's been EXO, and I'll talk to you all later. Have a good one.